sir. It's wrestling night in Iowa. Welcome to 3X Wrestling. I'm Midnight Guthrie alongside the right price Aaron Masterson. And before we get to this week's action, as you know, we've noted before, the Rebel Jeremy White, our heavyweight champion, out with a broken leg. The title will now be on the line in the, the gauntlet for the Gold Battle Royal, our seventh annual one and the biggest one yet on May 25th in Des Moines. Yeah, everyone's going to be fighting and scrapping, throwing each other over the top rope here and looking for the gold in the end. You can get tickets for that event at 3xwrestling.com and all our ticket outlets. And also coming up for 3X Wrestling on June 8th, it's a Friday, we'll make our debut in Grimes, Iowa as part of the great Governor's Days event with the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase appearing. And on June 9th, a Saturday, we'll be at the Boone County Fairgrounds, our debut in Boone, Iowa. We can't wait to be there to show the great fans of Boone the great 3X Wrestling action. Yeah, don't forget to check out 3xwrestling.com for all the information. And now let's go to the matches. All right, Hollinger, this should be a really interesting contest. And we have Barry Wright set to take out Tyler Sharp. First, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 200 pounds, Barry Wright. From Lawrence, Kansas, Three-time Pure Wrestling Champion, Barry Wright, a newcomer to the 3X Wrestling. Forms a tag team with Ray Stryker. As I mentioned, Barry Wright, now in his fourth year as a professional, is actually currently into the second year of remission of, uh, of cancer. He has non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, or he did. And if he makes it to the end of this year, cancer-free, he will be... If the doctors have determined he will be rid of this cancer dog. Just a, truly an inspiration. So he had to go away, take a sabbatical for wrestling to deal with his cancer treatments. Should be a great technical contest. Side headlock there by Tyler Cook, reversal by Barry Wright. As Cook works out. Crowd, crowd's really going nuts for these two fan favorites right now. These two are, you know, sizing each other up, feeling each other out. The crowd is respectful to the technical abilities. Did you just say they're feeling each other up? Feeling each other out. It's different. Sometimes there's phrases we should avoid altogether. And Tyler Cook should have avoided the drop because he's there. No! Being a first time contest, very similar in styles. Arm drag there. Oh. Oh. Tyler Cook works back to a vertical base. Barry Wright cuts him off with a knee. Up and over. Big drop kick by Tyler Cook. He's got one of the best drop kicks in the Midwest. Speechless, Hollander. I was correct. I think it rendered everyone speechless. What a forearm smash. Man alive. Up and over. Very right. Cook misses the ball. Oh, what a blow by Barry Wright! The referee was distracted by Tyler Cook. Low blow from Barry Wright. Now that is not like anything we've seen from here, here at 3X Wrestling. I know he hasn't been on the winning end of things. He is snapped. He's literally snapped before our eyes. He beat cancer and he's beaten Tyler Cook's testicles. That's not a, a sportsman-like approach at all, and I, I don't know what good that's going to do. Oh, it's a sport. It's just not one you see very often. It's an underground thing. 
Big European uppercut there by Barry Wright. I'm just stunned by this him. Hey, look at this vicious streak from Barry Wright. Suddenly very cocky. Oh, kick right to the chest. Into the back. Barry Wright up perched on the second row. Oh, big double axe hit. Ever since that unexpected low blow, Barry Wright's had firm control of this contest. I'm starting to like some of this kid's swagger. Look at this. Vicious submission hold. Let's go, the body does not twist that way, folks. Tyler Cook tries to get to the ropes, but there he's got it. He's got to break the hold. Never seen Barry Wright like this before. I don't know what to make of this. It's been a long time since we've seen Tyler Cook take a beating like this. And I am enjoying the hell out of it. Irish whip. Harden. Catches the feet though. Oh, big. What a shot to the back of the neck. Todd Countryman like clubbing for Oh, wow. Big clothesline, goes through the ropes, risky move, but it paid off for Barry Wright. Barry Wright now taking over with a submission hold in the ring here. Ten minutes remaining in this contest, ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes remaining, five minutes have elapsed. Another double axe handle nails him. Right hand there by Tyler Cook. Now he's fighting back. Come on, Tyler. You gotta wonder, very right. He has been on the losing end as of late, and maybe he's just tired of it. I don't know what to expect. Well, can you blame him? He's been teaming with Ray Stryker. Well, come on. He's got to take in the young rookie under his tool. He's trying to help the guy out. I'm not sure what Ray Stryker makes of this display from Barry Wright. Maybe it's time he finds a new tag partner. I did like what I saw oh, from Mitch Black tonight. Maybe they could take him. Barry Wright and Sparrow might be a great combination. Similar hairstyles. Right an atomic drop. What a right hand misses. Kind of a wild attempt. Strong close and he floors him. No longer treating him with any sort of gentle courtesy. I'll leave that one alone. Tyler Cook up to the top rope. Big clothesline. Seated style clothesline. Cover. Kick out there. Barry Wright. Barry Wright has come to fight tonight. Let's go for a fisherman suplex, it looked like. One of his trademark moves, now Barry Wright. Right the passage on Tyler Cook. He's, he's taking too much time, he's gotta get the cover. This could be all. And just like that, Tyler Cook's shoulder up just took a, too much time on that. I uh, really needed to keep up with some of the aggression he was showing earlier. That was just lazy on his part. Really laying in the shots. Oh. 
Cook counters. Fisherman suplex. Fielding with the bridge and the cradle. A kick out by Barry Wright. Tyler Cook couldn't have had any better technique on that cradle, and Barry Wright still kicks out. Irish whip. Man, this is really fast and furious now. Right to the second rope. Going for that double axe handle again. Oh, too many times. Bebo suplex. With the cover. And Tyler Cook. Big victory for Tyler Cook here at 3X Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Tyler Cook. The much bigger Devin Carter could power bobble now. Dangerous situation here. Tyler Cook is fighting back. No. Oh! Wise move by Devin Carter, and Tyler Cook has been eliminated. Well, it's come down to six individuals here, and it's three gentlemen club members versus three individuals here in 3XW. Absolutely, and we know that Sterling and McDowell, despite being rivals in the past, are allies now. We'll see them next month teaming together in what appears to be a big eight-man attack, eight-man tag team matchup. Corey Fox, we've talked about his history with Jeremy Wyatt. He would love to finally get another shot at, oh, oh, look at that! Devin Sterling Carter hanging on still. Devin Carter eliminated by Mark Sterling, who miraculously hung on. A watch charging gauge octane. No, blocked by Sterling. Hit him right in the midsection. Oh, look at this. He's gonna try to suplex Octane out of the ring. Come on. Saved by Ash. Big four. Oh. And Mark Sterling has been eliminated by Brian Ash. And now we are down to the, the first two entrants, as well as number 13, Rory Fox, and number 15, Gage Octane, who gets stumped by Rory Fox. We are down to three. Well, it's just too bad. And the Gentlemen's Club has quickly been eliminated from this bout, Sands, Brian Ash. But they know that. Look at the brawl here. Sterling and Octane going at it. Hopefully the guys in the back can stop those two. I'd stay away from them. Crowd solidly behind Rory Fox. Mad Dog McDowell looking to put away Brian Ash. Oh, wait a minute. Ash and McDowell over the top and hit the floor. And Rory Fox has won the fifth annual gauntlet for the gold and gets a future heavyweight title shot. Unbelievable performance by Rory Fox, who has now tied Mad Dog McDowell as the winningest Battle Royal competitor in 3XW history. He hasn't even been here for a year. The other guys, they think they know what special means. At Godfather's Pizza, we do special, and we do it better. We add the T. There's a Godfather specialty pizza with your name on it. Classic combo, all meat combo, hot stuff, taco, yeah, even veggie and more. All of them piled high with the best toppings and 100% real cheese. Treat yourself special. Order specialty pizzas from Godfather's Pizza. Now we're only down to two of the young stars of 3X and three members of Genesis. <laughs> it's up to Ryan Slade and Matt McDowell to defend the honor of 3XW. The war started last December. As these originals, these 3X Wrestling originals joined together. Thus far, the young forces have had very few moments where they got the upper hand. The Hornugs winning the tag title. Right now, well, they're all just teaming up on these guys. They were working on the biggest man in the match. Ryan Slay's in really bad shape right now. Look at that! Yeah, so Come on, guys, fight him. Still have to look out for Jeremy Wyatt. Uh. Oh, he is vicious. Octane. Now he entered in the middle of the pack, so he's been in there a while. So he's eliminated many guys. First and the last competitor going at it in the corner. Oh, what a shot. Man, 
trying to get behind the Young Stars here. It's Tyler Pierce at ringside, Sharon McDowell on. Todd Countryman also at ringside. Mad Dog's got Gage up. Oh, yeah. Big snake eyes. But that, he really should have took the opportunity to try to throw him over the top there, I think. I believe so. Ryan Slade looks tired. Right now, this is just looking vicious. Oh, and Ryan Slade over the top. Oh, he holds on. What an effort. Fights wide off. Oh, McDowell throw. McDowell. Oh, no. Oh, no. Genesis. Only three members left. The Genesis. only three men left, Genesis, won the have won title. the gauntlet for the goal. Wow. I have never been more disgusted in my life. Oh, oh wait a minute. What? Wyatt throws out Ben Saylor. Oh, Octane goes up and over. Look at this development. Jamie Wyatt threw out Ben Saylor. It's down to Octane and Wyatt. Yes! What is this? What does this mean? Jimmy White. He's got Brian He wins, and he's got the cross face. Look at this. He escapes. Genesis charges. What an wow. unbelievable turn of events. And he goes out the door. and the bout, they're firing away with these yeah. hard forearm shots. That's the way this match I expect to see. First time they match, these two are out to prove that they were a better wrestler. This time, it's about pride. So Five minutes have elapsed. 
55 minutes remain. There you go, five minutes, and look at the action we've already had already. They're right down here in front of us. He's trying to ram the face into the apron. Sterling counters, rakes to the eyes, right in front of us. I doubt. He's deep in there, too. He's trying to rip some corneas out. Oh, they are right next to us here. Oh, wait a minute. Fire Scary. Oh, face first into the canvas. Ring able. Oh, watch out, Aaron. Oh, watch out. Oh, spear. He speared him into the guardrail. Did you Unbelievable. Feel Are you all right, Aaron? I'm fine. I mean, oh, this is a Sterling dominated match right now. Now look at Sterling taking a lot of time to yell at the fans. He's I wasting valuable time. He just threw that chair at his head. I don't think he needs to worry about time anymore. It's just a matter of time. But Aaron, if you could get the pin right now, why aren't you doing it? You got to do it. I, you know, I. Oh, I look at this. There. But this match. Using the ring apron now. I told you earlier, this match is about pride and it's about hurting each other. These two want to end this feud in the most painful way. Now, the fans better watch out here. This is getting pretty wild and rolling. No way. He choked him with the ring apron. Sterling has set up a second chair. Over. Gotta wonder what, what sort of devices of devastation are hidden underneath that ring. Who knows? I saw both men checking out underneath the ring, the whole ringside early, area earlier tonight. Well, there's a lot of equipment down there designed to help set this ring up. I mean, it takes a lot of work to set up a wrestling ring and a lot of tools. What's interesting is when they were checking out the equipment under the ring, they had to do it at individual times. And security had to be around to make sure they didn't see each other. These two can't even stand up in the same room as each other. Look at this. Uh, he's got two chairs set up. Going for a disaster piece. Wyatt's getting out of it, though. Big right hand. Big four. Right now, Wyatt Wyatt got up first, not even having to use the ropes. And yet, Sterling strikes first. He, these two might be the toughest men in the whole Midwest. Wow. I don't care about pro wrestling. It's in anything. Oh, oh! Sterling hits the chairs on the floor. I think he forgot they were out there until he turned around. What a hard ball for Mark Sterling. I think his face hit first, did it not? It looked like it Face to me. and chest? I think at the very last second he noticed there were chairs there and just braced for the worst. They are, they are right in front of the largest section of the crowd here. These folks might want to be careful. As this capacity crowd looks on. Oh, now fans are moving. I don't blame them. Yeah, I don't blame them either. I'd get out of the way if they came up here. Security is watching this situation closely. What's, what's going on here? Just going through Sterling in the ring. That takes a lot of effort, though. I mean, that's a 240 pound man. Now, Wyatt, look at this. Once again, going back up to the top rope. Sterling is, he just took a head, head first fall. No chance to. to uh, save himself Everywhere. and I don't think he's getting ready to play oh. musical chair oh my god he's made, a, he's made a table out of that ladder and chairs that's a death bed. that's a death trap if I've ever seen one that's a very strong ladder oh certainly right into the ladder he made his bed and laid him in it Look at this. Now, Sterling, this is the most in control we've seen in Wyatt in at any point in this contest. And Sterling is laying on the chairs and tables. I don't know if he realizes where he is. Oh, no. No way. Sterling moves. Sterling moves. Sterling moves and goes under the ring. He is under the ring. But Rob Page, he's almost 40 minutes in. Us having to compensate this contest, there's a lot to keep track there's of. There's a lot to keep track of, that's for sure. How's your voice holding up, Aaron? You know what? Uh, you tell me, people. Can you hear me now? <laughs> now, look at this. Sterling using the ropes. Look like he's really out of it, Aaron. And right now, why Wyatt Wyatt got up first, not even having to use the ropes. And yet, what Sterling a, strikes first. He, these two might be the toughest men in the whole Midwest. Wow. I don't care about pro wrestling. He said anything. Oh, oh! Sterling hits the chairs on the floor. I think he forgot they were out there. 
until he turned around. What a hard ball for Mark Sterling. I think his face hit first, did it not? It looked like it. Face to me. and chest? I think at the very last second he noticed there were chairs there and just braced for the worst. They are, they are right for the largest section of the crowd here. These folks might want to be careful. It's this capacity crowd looks on. Oh, now fans are moving. I don't blame them. I don't blame them either. I'd get out of the way if they came up here. Security is watching this situation closely. What's going on here? Just going through Sterling in the ring. That takes a lot of effort, though. I mean, that's a 240 pound man. Now, Wyatt, look at this. Once again, going back up to the are you into WWE or 3X Wrestling? Then we have the place for you to hang out every Monday night and Sunday WWE pay-per-view events monthly. The Keg Stand in West Des Moines at 3530 West Town Parkway. Every Monday night, you can hang out with 3X Wrestling staff and wrestlers while we watch Monday Night Raw, plus the monthly WWE pay-per-view events, including WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, SummerSlam, and more. Friend 3X Wrestling and The Keg Stand on Facebook, and we'll keep you updated. See you at The Keg Stand for wrestling, drinks, and great food from Bach Catering.